Hello, Lone Fox family. It is fancy seeing you here on the channel. Hey guys, I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are. Today's video is going to be such a fun, exciting one. It's a little bit of a different video than what I've ever done on my channel here. So you guys are gonna have to stay tuned and watch this one because I think you're going to absolutely love it. Basically, what I am going to be doing today is I'm going to be hiring five interior designers slash rendering artists to redesign my entire living room. Some of you guys are probably wondering how this is going to be occurring and this video is made possible because today's video is sponsored by Fiverr. I'm actually an avid, avid, avid Fiverr user. I have an account on their website. I have purchased multiple different freelance jobs from a ton of different creators from around the world. A lot of the stuff that you guys have actually seen here on my channel, including my new merch logo, for example, was designed through a freelancer on Fiverr. Also, I've had all of my music custom designed through music creators on Fiverr as well. You guys may have heard a couple of these songs here. Fiverr is essentially a website that connects businesses with freelancers so you could find honestly any digital service that you ever would want over on their website. The great thing is that the prices are literally unbeatable. Like it is insane the pricing over there. It's a really, really quick turnaround and also you have a money back guarantee. Fiverr offers so many different services under the web development category which include like graphic design, logo design, web development, brand identity. You can do app design, shop design, e-commerce. I personally had an incredible, incredible experience using Fiverr A plus like 100% I would not have one negative thing to say about their website and I think it's super important to also have your own website if you are creative or if you just want your name out there creating your own website is something that doesn't have to cost a lot and Fiverr actually offers tons of different services around web design of course for an affordable price point but for today's video I thought it would be really really fun to connect Fiverr back with my interior design and DIY kind of platform here on YouTube of course so what I'm going to be doing is actually going onto my computer and hiring five different interior designers slash web designers slash like 3D rendering artists to essentially take my empty living room and redesign it however they want to and implement some of the features of it in my actual living room makeover which is coming out on my channel in just about a week and a half. I've been dying to film this video you guys. I'm honestly generally so freaking excited to see what these people are able to create and I think it's just going to be so much fun seeing my living room in almost like five different styles because I'm giving them a hundred percent creative freedom. If I have intrigued you enough use the link on screen to head over to Fiverr's website or use the link at the top of my description box below to check out all their different website development options as well as a ton of other incredible business offerings. So I'm going to go into the search bar here and just type in interior, I think it's spell it right, interior design. Um, and as you can see when I search that, there are a ton of different options. A lot of these are actually for realistic 3D interior design renders, which I literally have no idea how these people can create these. I have zero idea, do they draw at all? Like what is the situation behind this? For the first one, there is somebody named Chloe Large and it says, I will create interior design mood boards for you. And you basically get a basic mood board with one interior design overall theme and color scheme for $10, which honestly, this isn't gonna be a full on rendering or example of my living room. However, for $10, getting a kind of starting point for the space, I think is totally worth it. So I'm gonna go ahead and book Chloe for the $10 mood board for my living room space. Also, just to share with you guys, I'm going to be supplying these images here to the freelancers. So we have that one, we have this larger scale broad image, and then I also have this short video here, which is basically just going to share them an overall look at the living room space. I just found another seller here and the title is I will design and render realistic 3D interior or exterior and her work looks pretty darn good if I'm not gonna lie like it looks stunning and so I'm totally down for that I'm gonna go ahead and hire her I found another designer with 4.9 stars again 86 reviews their work again looks incredible I just don't know how these rendering artists do this or design this it just looks so good this one is hundred dollars a little bit more but they'll provide you with a fully textured 3D model with high resolution render images so it sounds pretty good to me you get texturing and lighting in this one so maybe it's like more of a moody ambiance so i'm gonna hire them i went ahead and copied and pasted the same exact message i sent the last girl and then i also added all the images for them to work off of and i'm going to start the order for this next designer i'm spending a little bit more bumping it up to 130 dollars um basically you get 3d modeling environment lighting fixtures people rendering source files they have 296 reviews 4.9 stars looks like a pretty good deal to me and their work is pretty stunning so let's hire them sent along the same info and we're gonna start the order 
For the last designer, I am bumping the price up quite a bit. We are going to be paying $375 for photorealistic interior rendering. Um, this is by Mustafa Gamal. I mean, they seem to be a newer user just because they only have three reviews, however, five stars. I'm totally down to help someone new and give them a job like this. Their work looks amazing, honestly, when I scroll through it, it looks really, really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and hire this designer as well. So I just went ahead, I hired all of the freelancers that are going to be redoing my living room space. And now it's honestly just a waiting game for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them about a week to create these, pop back here once they're done, and we're gonna see what they were able to do with my living room. So I'll see you guys in five seconds in editing and 200 hours for myself. And just like that, through the power of editing, it has been five full days. I last talked to you guys on a Thursday of last week and it is currently Tuesday, which I believe is five days. Thursday to Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday to Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday. It's like five days basically. And I got all of my deliveries today. I got my last one notified in my email a couple of hours ago. I handed my laptop over to my roommate and she actually went into my Fiverr account and just downloaded all the files and organized them into a folder for me. And it is all right here on my laptop ready to go. Now I am so excited slash kind of nervous to see these. I don't know why, I'm sure they're gonna be great. Everything I've gotten from Fiverr has been absolutely incredible. So I went ahead, I opened the folder. Now this folder here has five folders inside of it which has the contents inside of each based off the price that. I paid each of the designers. So there's the $10, $60, $100, $180, and the $375 option. And behind each of these folders is my living room design. So let's go ahead and see what was there. Oh, it's called Eclectic Bohemian. Okay. All right, you guys, this is actually like kind of cute to start with. I am absolutely obsessed with this style, by the way. Like, I'm a humongous fan of boho to start with. So overall, like these apartments to me are very pleasing. This is like actually really, really cute. I love the use of plants and warm tones. I also love how she provided like a little color palette on here, which I'm assuming was kind of picked throughout the photos. Now, this honestly is a very, very cute starting point. I actually do want to introduce a vintage kind of Turkish style rug in my living room makeover anyways. So this gives me some ideas right off the bat. So that was our first option. And then we have the $60 option. And I do believe that the 60 and all the other other options are actual like 3D renderings of the space. So I guess we should go ahead and open this one up. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I can like kind of see it in the thumbnail. <laughs> what? Oh my, how does someone do this? How did they literally take, this is the exact layout of my living room. Of course, there's a lot of added detail in the ceiling, as you might be able to tell. However, there is a window to the right side of the fireplace. There's that larger window on the wall back there. This actually is 100% like the same exact view from my first reference photo that I did send over to her. So she just made it a lot more polished. This looks absolutely incredible. Now, this personally right here is not my style. However, this is definitely the designer style, which is 100% okay. This is a little bit more like elegant, Z gallery, kind of like luxe vibes. This space right here kind of looks like a reception area for like a really high-end luxury spa or like a hotel like sitting area, if that makes sense. I don't know if you guys are getting that vibe as well. Then we have our $100 options. I'm literally like rushing through these because I'm so excited to see all of them. So we're going to go into our $100 option here. Oh my gosh. What? I first of all love how this is a different view. They opted for the view kind of from the front door of the living room space. This looks incredible. You could, this, you guys, this literally looks like my living room. This is identical to my living room. They even got the wall vaulting the same, like that kind of rounded curve. This is absolutely incredible. I'm like shaking, like, oh my gosh, this is, and they even have that moody environment lighting on here. This is legit perfect. And I also myself want to do a little gallery wall to the right of the larger window. They actually implemented that as well. Again, I give them no reference points or anything. I want to do a plant in that back corner as well. However, our fireplace is actually really, really tall. So to have the TV above the fireplace, I know in this kind of illustration here, it looks amazing. And I totally would have done the same thing if I was creating this piece. I don't think they realize that my fireplace is actually very tall. So you would have to be like looking up like this at the TV. So I actually opted to put the TV on the opposite wall in my living room. Room. That's where it's been for the last couple of months. To have your living room designed for $100 or at least give you a starting point, of course, an interior designer that you actually do pay costs thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. So to get a jumping off point for 100 bucks, I think it's a great deal. So then we have our $180 option, which um, I'm excited for that one. 
Oh my, these people, how? How, how? How was this created? That couch is the most realistic sofa I have ever seen, ever. This, this mock-up actually out of all of them, I feel like looks the most realistic in terms of like attention to detail. Like everything is absolutely perfect. The light fixture is stunning. The curtains are so cool. I love how they opted for a dark gray curtain to kind of go back to the couch. We have the windows over there, the fireplace. They kind of did a similar layout as well with the TV above the fireplace. However, um, I could already tell with this design that the uh, sectional, if it was against that back wall, would actually be quite far away from the TV because the room is very, very long. It's probably about 30 ish feet or so so this particular design the sectional would have to pop out a little bit more and then there might have to be a little bit more detail on that back wall there this gives me so much uh, ideas like truly even the little like candles inside the fireplace that is so cute the little lamp like okay guys so that's a 10 out of 10 as well and we have our last option which is our 375 dollar option now i do believe this was a bit more expensive because you did get three different angles of the space so you're able to see it from three different kind of variations and kind of imagine it a little bit more so that is why it's a bit more pricey um because you do get the three different angles so let's open it up there are three angles in here okay 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 what? Few moments later. Now I completely digested everything. I understand exactly what this person created. And this is thinking outside the box for sure. This is really, really unique. I love the, first of all, the use of black. I personally want to do a lot of black in my living room. So seeing all this black in here just honestly makes me a little bit happy because I want to do a really, really contrasting black with like some dark browns, I believe, and kind of make it boho, industrial, rustic, like I already talked about. I also want to incorporate kind of like a vintage Turkish style rug as well, which you can also see in this living room space. And this is actually the exact layout that I am planning on creating in the living room. So having the TV um, on the right wall in front of the fireplace and then having the couch with the back to the fireplace where you still get the interest of the fireplace. But this person here created like a little sitting area over in the corner and a bookshelf above it and then like a little dining area in the back corner, which I never would have thought to do so. And this would be incredible if this was like a one bedroom or more of like a studio style space. However, there is like a designated dining room and a designated breakfast nook so in the living room space it's not really necessary for me per se so they added another angle from the back of the sofa and you can kind of see over and they really did like a unique interesting element to the ceiling they kind of boxed it off a little bit which I think is unique that is a whole nother construction element that I would have to do in a living room and because I'm renting adding those beams and stuff and like kind of adding into the ceiling would be a little bit challenging so i'm probably not going to be doing that however i love how they opted to make this a little bit different than everything else and not go with the same exact shape and style of the room that i gave them they kind of wanted to add to it and then our last view is just from the sofa where you can see the large window and the smaller window to the right and the fireplace they actually opted to paint the fireplace black which is something i'm kind of considering but also a little bit scared to do so. I literally don't have words. Like, I don't know what to say. These are incredible. I am so, so thrilled to be able to look at these and use these as inspiration when I design my living room because as many of you guys know, I'm coming up with a living room makeover, which is probably gonna be out within a week after this video. Um, this is a little bit pre-recorded, by the way, so I have a bit of time after this is actually filmed to design the living room space. So yeah, I'm gonna close my computer now because it's literally overheating on my leg, but those were so fun to look at and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it would just be so much fun and when I reached out to Fiverr and had this idea they were super excited about it as well and I was like this would just be such a fun unique concept I've never seen done on YouTube before and I hope that you guys like seeing my living room in five different designs but if you guys would like to check out Fiverr as well for any website development or any other business offerings definitely use my link on screen or in the description box below to head over to Fiverr's website to just browse all the different options they have and you could hire somebody to help you out with any project you might need help on and yeah I guess that's really all for today's video I hope that you enjoyed and don't don't forget to check out Fiverr, it's really, really amazing. I will catch all of you guys in my next video. Bye guys.